Right, now we need to get started with creating a wallet. A wallet is the first place you need to go before you start going on the exchange and trading. A wallet is where you store your money and also where you send money to the exchanges, okay? So, the best and probably most trustworthy wallet, official wallet online is Coinbase.com. And this is what Coinbase looks like, okay? This is the interface. So the first thing that you've got is the dashboard. And the dashboard will show you what the prices are in the price charts of the three main currencies that you can buy, okay? So the first one is Bitcoin. The second one is Ethereum. And then the third one is Litecoin, which has just recently been added. It used to be just Bitcoin. And then it was Ethereum. And now it's Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. Okay, so on this side, you've got the price charts. And this gives you an indication of the prices and the movement of the prices at the present time. So in real time, you can see how much Bitcoin has gone up in the last hour. It has gone up. Six pounds eighty two or thirty or not point three eight per cent. Okay, so that's how much it's gone up in the last hour, and you can have a look and see the price of Bitcoin over one day, one week, one month, one year, or all time. Okay, so you can see the amazing rise of Bitcoin. Now, the interesting thing was, is just literally two months ago, look at what the price of Bitcoin was. It was down to £787 or around about $950. And since that time, it's just blown up. This is a bubble that we're in at the moment. It has gone up about 1100 It's at £1,800 or $2,100 amazing amazing okay so on the left hand side you've got the current price of the main cryptocurrencies that you can buy now and store in your wallet and then you've got your portfolio and this shows you what you currently have in these currencies in terms of what you've bought so as you can see here i've got 372 pounds in total which is about 500 dollars and that is split into £16.51 in Bitcoin, £355 in Ethereum. So that means that I own 2.5 Ethereum. I've got no money in Litecoin and I haven't got any money in Euros because this is where you essentially cash out. Okay, so you can put money into your currency wallet. Now I've got either a Euros wallet or a GBP wallet. Okay, so what you need to do in order to get your wallet set up is you need to go to Coinbase and you need to press sign up. Okay, and then you'll come to this screen and then you just basically type in your details. All right. So we'll just do that quickly for an example. Okay, I am not a robot. I agree to the user agreement, create account. Okay, and then what you have to do is you need to verify your email. They are very, very careful on Coinbase to make sure that you go through all of the procedures. Okay, so I just need to basically verify my account right now online, which I'll do with my phone. And then I should just be able to get started. Okay, verify email address. Okay, so I've now verified my email address. So what I need to do now is I need to go through each of these individual steps in order to get properly set up. Okay, so the first thing is, do you want to sign up as an individual or as a business? Okay, so you have to submit an application to sign up as an institution. So don't bother. Basically, complete your profile and sign up as an individual. All right. So once you've selected that, you go next, and then it just moves along to the different tabs. So you've got to put your phone number in, then you need to upload your ID, okay? So that is either driver's license, identification card, or passport, okay? And then what happens is, is that you basically upload an image of it, 
or you can use the webcam on your computer to take an image there and then and then they will essentially verify it in real time you'll see a loading meter going around and then it takes literally minutes and if you pass that then you move on to the next area okay which is payment and this is where you sort out the way in which you transfer money from your bank account into Coinbase, into your wallet, and then you can start buying. Okay, then you can start buying. All right, so then once you have signed in, you will come back to the dashboard. Okay, and the dashboard will be pretty much plain. It will say your portfolio zero, and you need to put money into your portfolio. So you go into buy and sell, and then you basically set up your payment method okay now as far as payment methods are concerned okay you can either make a payment from your credit card or debit card and in which case you are limited by how much you can put in okay they give you weekly limits okay so at first it'll probably be about hundred dollars then it'll move up to three hundred dollars so if you are essentially gradually funding your coinbase account they will increase your weekly limit. However, if you set it up with your actual bank details, okay, so if you put your IBAN number or whatever it is that you need to actually set up your bank account directly into Coinbase, then you pretty much have no limit. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a weekly card limit of £18 remaining, which is quite frustrating. But there is a way of increasing it, and that is to verify your identity. And then by verifying your identity with an ID card, which I can't produce for some unknown reason, they don't really give me the option, I don't have an ID card, I've put my driver's license, but you will have the ability to basically fund your account with about $10,000 or £9,000. Okay, so you have to set up the payment method first. And when you set up the payment method, then you can buy. Okay, so essentially I would be funding it through my card. So if I wanted to buy Ethereum now, what I would do, because my payment method is already set up, so I would want to put £15 because there's a bit of a fee. As you can see, they've added £1.15 to it, so you can't put £18. You'd have to put you know, a lower number, and then there's a fee on top of it. And when that fee is applied, it has to be underneath your limit, all right? So buy Bitcoin instantly. Now, if I wanted to buy Ethereum, I click on Ethereum, and I put, you know, £15 for that. And then I can buy Ethereum instantly, or I could buy Litecoin instantly, and a Litecoin is £25. So if I bought, you know, £15 worth of Litecoin, then that would be a 60% of a Litecoin, all right? So you don't need to buy a full Bitcoin or a full Ethereum or a full Litecoin. Well, you actually do need to if you want to trade on Poloniex, but I'll talk about that in a bit. You need one full Ethereum to trade Ethereum on, Polo on Poloniex. So if we just go back to Bitcoin, and I'm just gonna show you this process, right? So I'm gonna put 16 pounds which is transferred into 0 0.008 of a Bitcoin. Buy the Bitcoin now. And then it will say confirm buy. Yes. And then you'll get the screen either buy confirmation your request is being processed or it will literally say buy confirmed. Okay. So that is how you transfer your funds. Once you have actually put some money into Coinbase, that is how you can then buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, okay? Then send and request we're going to go through in a minute when we send some money over to Poloniex. And Poloniex is the exchange. And what you do is you enter in a code specific to your exchange address, okay? You enter that here and then you send the funds, okay? Whether you're actually paying out of your, you know, your Bitcoin wallet or you're paying from your Ethereum wallet. Okay, so that's what you do with send and also request. You can get your funds back from the exchange via request, okay? If you go into accounts, it will show you all of the different wallets you have, the balance within the wallets, the last time you actually had some activity or bought anything, and then you can rename it if you want to do that, but I don't personally want to do that. And you can actually add a new wallet or you can transfer Bitcoin, okay?
Tools isn't necessarily that important, but essentially what you can do is you can set up your addresses so that you can send and receive funds with ease without having to manually re-enter it every time. And then settings is simply where you update your profile information, your payment information, and also where you choose if you have two-factor authentication. Okay, so that is Coinbase. So essentially, the main thing that you do at this point is essentially set your payment method up and then you send it over to the exchange. So that is what you need to do the first time. You need to create a Coinbase account and you need to fund your wallet with money from your bank, which you can then buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin with, which you can then send to the exchange and then subsequently trade. So I hope that's helped and in the next lecture we're going to go on to Poloniex which is where we are going to send the money we just transferred. So I'll see you there.